Hey there, how's it going? I'm normally a fan of Tim Pool for his journalism. My complaints about Tim Pool have been that he never really criticizes the right. He'll continually say in his videos that he's on the left and he'll say the positions he supports on the left, but he pretty much just criticizes the left. If he ever says anything negative about the right, it's at most dedicating three seconds of his time to criticizing the right. I have never, ever seen Tim Pool make a video that's the main thing is dedicated to criticizing the right. He just doesn't do it. Now, that's not, I'm not saying he's a right winger, but he certainly does their job for them. But, you know, he's a decent journalist. He very much is. But then I saw on a Cult of Dusty video this tweet where he's saying that Twitter amplifies fringe leftist extremism. Really, he's going to blame Twitter for that? He's the one amplifying uh, via his videos that are constantly amplifying left leftist fringe extremism. That's, that's all he does on his videos. And he's going to blame this on Twitter? It's disappointing. I mean, if you watch enough of, of his videos, you can see that his main, his main concern is making money. And he, he does a lot of censorship so his videos don't get demonetized. And, I mean, that's fine. You, you can do that, fine. But he has a user base. And he doesn't want to disappoint his user base. If he made a video criticizing the right, he'd have a whole shit ton of people unsubscribed from him. That's just a fact. So that's probably the big reason why he doesn't. And that's kind of sad to me. You know, he can be a good journalist, but he kind of is pandering to one crowd. It's kind of like Dave Rubin. There have been a lot of people who have wanted to come on the Dave Rubin show including Sam Cedar, utterly refuses to, to debate with Sam Cedar, probably because Sam Cedar criticizes him so much. You know, he doesn't want anyone on the show that there might be some friction. It has to be all nicey-nicey. And, you know, he'll have someone on the show that degrades, makes really degrading comments about homosexuals, and he's just like, oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's nice that you have that opinion. Oh, isn't that interesting? It, and he's another one that, that panders to the right because he knows what his audience is. Now, I am not saying that Dave Rubin is on the right. He, he's kind of center-right, though. <laughs> he's, he's almost a libertarian, and not the, not the leftist libertarian thing, because I know if I say libertarian, well, not all libertarians are on the right. Uh, most of them are. They certainly believe in the right's version of capitalism, for the most part. Oh, but, 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 but not all, not all. Oh, shut up. Sh go shove it. Seriously. If you give yourself that label of a libertarian, you should expect to be treated, you should expect that people are going to view you as being on the right. Well, it shouldn't be that way. Should, 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 should. Get that shit out of my face. I'd rather deal with the way that things are, not the way that they should be. You know what the label's about. You know what it means. Now, I don't think it's right when people label Tim Pool as an alt-writer. That's, that's not right. You know, you can't claim that he's on the right either because he does state his views about a number of, of positions on the left that show that he isn't on the right. I mean, if you truly want to judge him based off of his viewers, I mean, go right ahead. I just don't think it's fair. There's someone I've been having a spat with 
who is saying, oh, well, you have, look look what kind of people you sometimes have commenting on your videos. You have some alt-righters commenting on your videos. And I'm like, so? I have people that are on the extreme left, the extreme right, anywhere in the middle, commenting on my videos. You know, is it, should, should I really judge, should I judge myself based off of, because I have a, uh, because I have an assortment of commenters? Now, my goal isn't making money on this platform. So I don't really have this vested interest to keep a whole shit ton of subscribers. I mean, it's nice when I have subscribers. I, 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 won't, I won't turn that down. But that isn't my, my entire goal on my channel. If it was, you know, I, I would be using some formula to make my videos with. And I'm, I'm just not into doing that. Tim Pool has found a formula that works for him. Fine. But he does pander to a particular audience. That doesn't mean that he is just the same as his audience, but he does pander to them. But this whole idea that he's going to, this whole complaining about Twitter amplifying fringe leftist extremists. When that's all he does, what, how can he complain about that? I, I lost so much respect for him for that tweet. A whole shit ton of respect for him. It was incredibly stupid of him to say.